Hey there, amazing folks. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're delving into the captivating world of face swapping videos using Roop and Stable Diffusion. This video will equip you with the knowledge to create jaw-dropping realistic face swaps. So let's get started. Before we dive in, let's make sure we've got everything we need. First up, make sure you've got the Roop extension installed. If you're not sure how to do that, watch our step-by-step -step video tutorial on YouTube for a helping hand. Also make sure you have your initial video at the ready. Now let's kick things off by turning your video into a sequence of JPEG images. I'll be using Adobe Media Encoder for this, but feel free to choose your preferred software. Start by adding your video to the queue and select H264 under the Format section. This might say something different depending on your video type. In Export Settings, click on Format and choose JPEG. For the output name, create an empty folder and select it as your destination folder. Let's call it Input, since this will be our input for stable diffusion. Press Save and hit the green play button in the upper right corner to start converting your video. Now we can start the fun, open stable diffusion, and navigate to the image to image tab. Import any frame from the JPEG sequence and adjust the following settings. Choose Euler A for the sampling method. For the width and height, you want to maintain the same aspect ratio as your original image, 720 by 1280 in my case. Lastly, set denoising strength to zero. This will make sure that stable diffusion does not alter the original image and only Roop will apply the face swap. Next up, access the Roop extension, activate it, and import a high quality image of the desired face. We'll use Margot Robbie's image as an example. For restore face, experiment with none and code former to find the best fit. If your video has a lot of movement, I recommend to set the restore faces to none, otherwise the face will be much sharper than the rest of the image. This results in a non-convincing face swap. Leave other settings as is and hit generate to start the face swapping process. If you are satisfied with the result, we can initiate the face swap process for the JPEG sequence. Go to image to image tab and click on batch. Set the input directory to match your JPEG sequence folder. You can copy the path of your folder by holding shift and right clicking on the folder and selecting copy as path. Now create an empty folder and do the same for the output directory. Make sure to remove the quotes. Now you can click generate and let Roop work its magic. The time it takes will depend on your graphics card and image resolution. Typically it ranges from seven to 12 seconds per frame. After stable diffusion and Roop work their wonders, you'll have a collection of individual frames. To turn them into a video, we'll use Adobe Media Encoder again. In Adobe Media Encoder, find the Q section and click the plus symbol. Then, navigate to the directory where Stable Diffusion has stored your face swapped images and select the first image. Ensure the PNG file sequence option is activated. Next, change the format to H264, select your output name and destination folder and hit OK. Press the play button to start converting and you're all set. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more tech adventures, and share your stunning creations with the world.